Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So we are almost towards the end of our course now. This is our 11th week and uh, during the past 10 weeks we have done a lot of grammar. We have done verb conjugations, expressions, phrases, greetings. We have also learned how to how to tell politely, how to talk politely, how to uh, respond politely. We have also done uh, idioms and phrases. So how are we going to use all these things in our conversation? How we are going to tell about a certain thing in our own way? Well, we are going to do something new today and that's what you're going to learn over here. Now, all this that we have done, all the things that we have learned, are important, are extremely essential for conversation. Had it been in an offline class or in a classroom, I would have uh, done a lot more things with you, given you speeches to uh, write, maybe essays to do, maybe do conversation in class, do stories in a different manner, enact a lot of things in class. But well, whatever time we have here, whatever we can do here we are going to do to the best of our ability. So today I thought I will do something different with you. I am going to do a story, a Japanese story with you. Well, the story you would have done when you were small, the story of the ugly duckling where the uh, duck changes into a swan after a while. So this story has been written by one of my students. She did the course with me exactly like you and we did the story in class and then she has written the story in her own words. I have not tried to change too many things over there except for the mistakes that were made. It is very simple Japanese but using a number of forms that we have done in class. So now you can see the story and enjoy it in Japanese. So this is the story of the ugly duckling Minikui Ahiru no Ko. This is a children's story written in simple Japanese and Minikui means ugly or not very pleasing. As you can see from here, these two are looking at this chick in a very strange manner, not very happy to see the chick and then how the chick changes into a swan. Well, I'll read it first and then do the explanation. So listen to the Japanese story very carefully. Aru mura no chikaku no numa ni ahiru no okaasan wa ni san shukan mai kara tamago o atatamete imashita. Aru mura in a village. Mura is village. No chikakuni near by, no numa in a marshy place, ahiru no okasan wa. We are talking about the okasan, so wa. And over here, ni is for numa, it is place. So this is a kind of a revision also for you. All that we have done so far, I'll try to cover in this and maybe in another story that we do later. San shu kan mai kara. Ni san shu kan. Shu is weak and kan is time span. So for the past two, three, two, three weeks, she was sitting on the eggs. Atata meru is the verb. Atata meru. Ata, ta, me, ru, group. Two verb meaning trying to keep the egg warm. Atata meru means to warm it up, warm something. So, atata me te i mashita. She was trying to keep the eggs warm. Aru hi, one day. As we say in English as well, 
when we are telling a story, one day. So, aru, he, tamago kara, from, kawaii, hyoko tachi ga omare mashita, kawaii, there is a double i, kawa e and e, if you write it in hiragana, it is like this, ka, wa, e and e, kawaii, hyoko tachi ga omare mashita, it is an i adjective, hyoko is chicks. So, Hyoko Tachi ga Umare Mashita, they were born. U Ma Re Ru is the verb group. Tu Umare Mashita, Demo, but Hitotsu no Tamago wa, Hitotsu is counter for small things. So, Hitotsu Futatsu you have done, Hitotsu Futatsu, mitsu, so hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, for small things. No tamago dake, only, to be used after a noun. So, noun dake, only, wa mada desu, till now it has not hatched. Mada means still or yet not hatched. Ano tamago dake kara kodomo wa omarete imasen. So, now why ano over here? Because we already know that there is a tamago which has not hatched. So, the listener and the speaker both know about the existence of such a tamago. Thus, ano tamago dake only kara from kodomo ga or Hyoko ga umarete imasen. Kodomo over here is written because, well, Hyoko is also okay, but we are talking from the perspective of the Ahiru. So, Kodomo. Ahiru no ko is the name of the story. So, Kodomo wa umarete imasen has not been born yet. Okasan Ahiru wa shimpai deshita ga. So, before ga always must form is going to be used, not plain form of the verb. Okasan ahiru wa shimpai deshita ga. So, before ga which makes the sentence polite or your inquiry polite or whatever you are stating polite, must form is used. So, deshita ga nani mo dekinai no de, nani mo is nothing. Nothing, dekinai, cannot do anything, cannot do anything, no de, thus, therefore, gambatte tamago atatame suzuke mashita. Gambatte is coming from the verb gambaru, I am writing it over here, gambaru, gambatte, she was working very hard, trying her best, gambatte tamago o atatame to keep it warm, Suzuke Mashita, she continued. So, she continued to sit on the egg even though it had not hatched by then. After nani mo, always the verb is going to be in negative. So, now well, you can see from the picture as well and I will do the explanation now. So, te imas form is verb in Te imas, continuous form of the verb. So, watashi wa ima tabete imas, ima minasan ni oshiete imas. So, I am doing a certain activity, continuing over a period of time, but short period of time. Then, kara is from, which you have done already, hachiji kara or koko kara. Koko kara, soko made or hachiji kara juji made from hachiji till 10 o'clock and demo is but which is contrasting. So, there will be two sentences, sentence 1 full stop, sentence 2, 1 will be in positive and 1 will be in negative meaning just the opposite of what has been said 
here and it will start with demo which is but. Then we also have hitotsu, this is a counter for counting irregular objects, small irregular objects, could be a triangle, square, rectangle, something, something small irregular shaped object, hitotsu, putatsu, mitsu. And after 10, you will start saying ju ikko, ju ni ko. Then mada, not yet, mada des, mada umarete imasen or made, hachiji kara juji made. And then dake, only, only. So, noun dake, watashi wa niku dake tabe masen in negative and niku dake tabe mas positive. Then nanimo will always have a negative verb and the meaning will be in negative. So, now I think this is clear and all this is also covered in your previous classes. So, please go over this, this is just a matome. This is in the script and you have a lot of kanji characters over here like haha, shukan, chikaku, tamago. Then tamago is new, but you do not have to do tamago. It is not in your course, I think, and uh, you can just try to get the visual. Umareru, then nani, shimpai and all these others, I am going to do them right now. So, well, chikai, chikai is like this, chikai simple, I have also done it in class. Then this is atatameru and like this. Then we have mura, mura and there are certain words I want to do with mura also with you just now. So, I will do it in my next slide. This is umareru and you have done this kanji with sensei. Sensei or gakusei. Then we have kodomo. Kodomo also we have done. Ko we keep doing. This also comes in suki, but just a part of suki. And then we have domo over here, which is like this, ko and domo, ko do mo. Then shimpai, shimpai is, shin you know is kokoro. Now with this kanji there is another reading which is shin and pai is made like this, pai. Then we also have kubaru, this is kubaru also which is to give it to everyone, to distribute. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9 and 10, this is kubaru. So these are some of the kanjis, this is new over here, this one is new and this one is new. Mura means a village and there is a name by this kanji also, Nishi Mura. We are going to do it just now. This is Shukan and you have done Shu earlier and Kan as well a number of times. So, Shukan, but I do not think we have done Senshu, Senshu sen of sensei and shu over here, shu. So, sen shu means last week. Then rai shu, rai you have done as in kuru. So, this kanji is kuru also. Another reading is rai which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and then Shu again over here and 1, 2 and 3, Shu, Rai, Shu. 
then shu then kon shu this is also ima so now kon and shu again shu then we have nishimura as i was telling you this is mura you all now know this is mura and then we have nishi over here nishi i'll write it over here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this means nishi nishi is west nishi mura nishi mura this is also a name then you have higashi which is like this he ga and she which is also to comes in tokyo tokyo no to tokyo then you have kita and minami as well so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is kita which is north and minami like this which is and you make a yen over here so simple i think not very difficult mi na and ni so lot of lot of kanji is for you you have to do these these are there in n4 and you have to learn these kanjis you don't have to write but at least you should be able to recognize them now we go to the next part sugi no hi ni yatto tamago kara hyoko ga omare mashita hyoko ga one because we are talking about hyoko we know that it has to be hatched it has to come out of the egg so ga and omareru will take ga so tsugi no hi ni ni is for hi which is time yatto finally tamago kara from the tamago hyoko ga omare mashita okasan ahiru wa tottemo ureshikatta desu so tottemo is degree of this generally we have seen we have studied earlier that Totemo, totemo will show degree of the adjective. So, totemo ureshi katta and it is not ureshi i deshita. In past tense, deshita will be removed and katta will be put for i adjective. Ahiru no ko wa Hoka no hyoko tachi yori oki desu. More than the others, it was bigger. So, yori is more than. Hane no iro mo chigau no de. Hane is wings. No iro is color. Mo chigau. Chigau is different from the others. Chigau means different. Dakara deskara because of this reason tori wa ijimeta kedo all the tori ne hoka no others wa ijimeru ijimeru is to bully kedo okasan wa kawaii to omoimasu obviously it's her ko it is her child so she thinks it's the cutest of all okasan wa kawaii to omoimasu she thinks Soshite minna onaji yoo ni sodate imasu. Soshite minna, all of them in a similar manner, in a similar way. She was bringing them up. Ahiru no ko wa minna okasan kara from her or ni, from her oyogi kata, way to swim. O naratta kedo. Minikui ahiru no ko wa dekinakute kanashikatta desu. So, oyogi kata o naratta kedo, but minikui ugly duckling wa dekinakute, he could not do it. Not 
do it or swim. Kanashkatta desu, he was extremely saddened. Kanashi is to be depressed and to be sad. Kanashikatta desu. So, yatto is finally. Yatto wakarimashita. Iro iro setsume shita kedo minna wakarimasen. Demo yatto wakarimashita. Demo saigo ni yatto wakarimashita. So, ga of course you know is a particle which also talks about the object or the secondary subject in the sentence or you can use it when you know that what you are saying is a fact or the listener and the speaker both have knowledge of it. Totemo is degree of something. So, over here it has been used with an adjective. Well, datta kedo. So, kedo is but and obviously over here it is a noun. Kara and ni is from. You have done it with words like uh, morau and ageru. So, okasan ni morai mashita. Okasan ni agemashita. Okasan ni agemashita. And watashi wa okasan ni morai mashita or kara morai mashita. So, use it in this pattern. And dekinai is cannot do. It is the potential form for verb suru group 3. Then kute of course is joining i adjectives and i adjectives. So, the first i adjective will take kute meaning and. And yoni we will do just now it means similar to something. So, let us see what yoni means. I am doing all of this very, very quickly because we have done it in detail earlier. Now, yoni is something new today. So, what does yoni express? It expresses similarity or just like, just as some one or something. So, you can look at the example uh, sentences. Mira wa okasan no yo ni hanashimasu. So, there are two meanings to it over here. We will take the first one here first. So, mira wa okasan no yo ni like her mother. She is talking just like her, just like her mother. Okasan no yo ni hanashite imasu. Similar to her mother just as her mother would talk. Mira wa okasan no yo ni hanashite masu. She is talking as if she has become okasan. She has taken the role of okasan and then she is talking. So, there are two meanings to this one. Just think about it very, very peacefully at home. You already know and speak like this in English and in Hindi. So, you will be able to understand it very easily over here. Sentence construction is the same, but meaning is different, slightly different I should say, slightly different. Then, mira wa nihonji no yoo ni nihongo o hanashimasu. So, as the Japanese talk, the intonation, the style, the method, the way, as they talk, mira san is talking exactly like them. There is a great similarity in the two, just like the Japanese would talk. There is another one here. One san wa mainichi no yo ni exactly like mainichi kyo mo rokuji ni okimashita. Today is Sunday. Kyo wa nichi yobi desu. One san wa mainichi no yo ni kyo mo. Today also she got up at 6 o'clock as she would do every day. So, now I have this exercise for you. Ocha, kocha and yo ni. Do this exercise at home and when I come for the next class, I want this answer from you using yoni. I think yoni is very clear. The yoni that you are going to do in N4 is over here. There are other ways yoni is used in the language which you do not have to bother with at the moment. 
then this is in your script and of course, you have done umareru, okasan, hane also we have covered some point, miru. So, let us see what are the new kanjis over here and we will do those. So, sugi is one. So, tsugi me, this is just two. Tsugi means next, serial number next. Hokano, so over here like this and then this, Hokano. Others, ho ka no, others. We have done this hane part in yobi. Just go over there, check it out, and you will see that this is the kanji that we have used as a part of yobi. As yobi. So, the sun comes from one side to the other on the wings of a fat bird. So, you can go over there and see this kanji, then we have hane and iro, then we have tori, tori and tori is like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4. Then we have kodomo which we did just now and oyogi kata. So, oyogi mas is like this, mizu and one over here like this and of course, water over here, oyogu. Oyogu and kata, kata over here like this, kata. Then we also have onaji, I have done onaji with you, ona and ji. So, what is oyogi kata? Let us see. Now, kata is a noun forming suffix and it always comes after the stem of the verb. And what does it mean? It means manner or method in which a certain action is done. As you can see over here, hanashi kata, kangae kata. It is hanashi mas and kangae mas. So, remove the mas and put kata over here. And it means way of doing a certain thing way of doing a certain action. It is a noun and particle va and ga used after kata. So, rao san no hanashi kata wa totemo omoshiroi desu and kanji no kaki kata wa oshiete kuremasen ka. So, this is being humble and you could also say itadakimasen ka which would make it very, very polite. So, kaki kata kaki mas remove the mass put kata. So, I have also covered this earlier. This is just revising over here so that you are able to use it nicely in conversation. Now, let us go on to the next section. So, what happens after that? Anoko o mite hoka no oka san tori wa anoko wa ahiru no ko janai wa. Wa is a very feminine uh, expression which the ladies use a lot in Japan. Kitto shichimencho no ko da yo. So, shichimencho is a partridge. Shichimencho no ko da yo. This yo. So, very, very informal. Yo itself is informal and if you add da over here instead of this, then it becomes very, very informal and colloquial. So, Ahiru no ko janai wa and yo over here. Kitto, surely, definitely, shichimencho no ko da yo. Nani mo iwanai de, nani mo again, 
negative verb will come. So, nani mo nothing, iwa nai de without saying anything. Oka san wa shinken ni with all her energy, with all sincerity, shinken ni kodomo o sodate mashita. She tried to bring them up with all sincerity. Demo kyo dai tachi to hoka no tori tachi wa itsumo. Demo, but. So, the moment but is there, it is going to contradict whatever has come over here. That she is being very nice, but what about the others? But kyo dai tachi to hoka no tori tachi wa itsumo always. Anoko, this ne, minikui ahiru no ko o ijimete, they were always bullying and te over here is and, you have done as uh, uchi e kaete, kaete, shawa o abite, nemas. So, this same te form over here. Ijimete nakama ni iremasen deshita. They would not include him in their group. They would not play with him, not include him in the group. Minikui ahiru no koto isho ni asoba nakatta shi. They did not play with him and gohan mo agena katta. They did not even give. Gohan, they did not even let the Minikui Ahirunoko have food with them. So, they were trying to actually boycott him. They were not very happy with this strange bird in their group. So, let us see what we have. To imashita. So, nani nani inverted commas to imashita or imas. So, whatever has been said, it is in quotes and then you will use to imashita. He said that, he said or he said that. One is in quotes exactly as said verbatim and the second one is that you understand what the person has said and then you try to repeat it again. So, that is to imashita. Itsumo always. Watashi wa itsumo rokuji ni okimasu. Over here, Tanaka san wa mina san ni yoroshiku o tsutaite kudasai to imashita. He said that please convey my regards to everyone. So that is how it is used. Then we also have anoko and as I told you earlier, anoko means this ko because the listener and the speaker both know of the existence of this ko, that is why ano ko and not sono ko or kono ko over here. The narrator is talking about something, about this bird, this ahiru no ko and because the listener also understands now, so does ano. Then asobanai, they would not play, plain form that is all, plain form of verb asobu, a, so and bu. Then she over here and she means and. Joins verbs, nouns and adjectives. So, how is it done? You can look at the examples over here, you can also see that with verbs it is in plain form, present and past, with nouns it is da and datta, present and past and with yasui nothing changes in the present, but well over here it changes into katta which is past form. So well, indo wa natsu wa atsui shi, fuyu wa samui desu. So we are talking about India and what is there in India? Indo wa natsu wa atsui shi and fuyu wa samui desu. So, we have used both vas over here and I will talk about this in your next class and not here.
Kono uchi wa hiroishi, see it does not change as is, it is used. Eki kara mo chikai desu, it is close to the eki as well. So, with adjectives, I adjective, with nouns, then kyo wa benkyo mo shitashi, benkyo mo shitashi, eiga mo mimashita. So, with verb, shimashita as is given over here. Shimashita shi or shitashi, eiga mo mimashita. And then, koko wa shizuka da shi, na adjective. Keshiki mo utsukushi desu. Koko wa shizuka da shi, keshiki mo kirei desu is also ok. Or Mariko san wa kirei da shi, atama mo i desu. So, either way you want to use, you can use it. Shizuka is quiet, keshiki is the scenery around landscape, wa utsukushi is very very pretty. So, koko wa shizuka da shi, it is quiet and the landscape is also very beautiful. Then there are some kanjis here, let us see what they are. Miru, verb miru, to see. Then kyodai, this is Onisan you know with his mouth open, he is walking laughing and this is Ototo, ototo over here, you cut it like this and this, ototo, so makes it kyodai. Then ageru, this is ue, ageru. Gohan, go and han, han is like taberu and over here like this, gohan, go is honorific over here and now this honorific has gotten combined with han and it is gohan. Now nobody says han o tabete kudasai, it is with gohan only but is polite, honorific. Then we have asobu, now asobu is the little difficult, yes, but we will try to see how to make it easy. So, you make kata first, then you make this and kodomo over here and then like this. So, it becomes aso and bu, aso, bu. Make kata, make kodomo over here and then Aso and bu. So, I think this will simplify it a little. Then we also have this kanji ishoni, one you have done, this kanji also you have done, this is ito which is thread, ito and you combine ito and person and isho ni together. So, the person with ito is joined together. So, isho and ni. This single kanji is ito, this one over here, not the whole thing. This whole thing is isho ni. Ni is of course separate, isho. Then we also have another kanji which is similar to to and it is hairu or ireru. So, iri guchi. That is the first thing you will see when you land in Tokyo. So, these are some of the kanji, some of them are new, some of them are old. Now, we have one more section for you and that is Aruhi Minikui Ahiru no ko wa sabishikute, very very lonely uchi o demashita. So, I have written o over here like this specially because in a lot of books you will see this O particle written as wo in Roman, whereas most of the time I write O as 
the same particle O as O in Roman. So, it is one and the same thing. Aruhi minikui ahiru no ko wa sabishikute uchi o demashita. Demas is to go out, leave. Deru. De ka keru is slightly different though the kanji is the same. This means going out with a purpose and this is just going out. Then hokano toritachi wa, hokano is others again as I told you. Toritachi wa ahiru no ko o mite nigemas. They just run away. Nigeru is the verb. Nigeru. Nigemas. They run away here and there. The moment they see the minikui ahiru no ko, they just vanish from there. Minikui ahiru no ko wa yappari watashi wa minikui desu. So, yappari. Why are these people running away from me? Yappari. After all, watashi wa minikui desu. I am ugly. That is why they do not want to be with me. I am so big, I am so huge, I am so different from them. That is why they do not want to be with me and he was very depressed over it. I am very ugly and he was extremely depressed about this and sabishi katta. He was sabishi. So omoi nagara tabi o suzuke mashita. Because he had already left home and everybody was running the moment they would see the minikui ahiru no ko. So he is depressed and he says now I had a bad experience at home. Even now when I have left home, everybody is running away from me. So, yappari. After all, whatever I may think or say, watashi wa minikui desu. So, omoi nagara. Thinking like this, tabi, his journey o suzuke mashita. He continued his journey. So, now there are these words over here. Aruhi, one day, as you would read in English, once upon a time or one day. Once upon a time would be mukashi mukashi aru tokoro ni and aruhi one day, ek din in Hindi. So, sabishikute as I just told you, it is I adjective plus something. So, meaning and. Then hokano is others and you did the kanji also just now for hokano. Then yappari, this is new over here, which means as I thought, as I am feeling now, the impression that I am getting now. So, yappari. And sometimes it is negative, sometimes it is positive. Feeling could be for both. Then so, Omoi nagara. So, nagara is when you perform two actions at the same time. So, two verbs, verb plus verb, one action plus another action. So, the first verb is going to take nagara. So, ima watashi wa minasan ni oshie nagara kaite imas. I am telling and I am also writing. Minasan wa watashi no koto o kiki nagara. Hiragana de kaite imas. So, two actions. Imoto wa benkyo shinagara rajio o kikimas. Or uta o utai nagara odori mas. So, two verbs or two actions at the same time. Ni sanji kan ato after two or three hours. Jikan kanji you have done and this is ato. Ato is like this and then you make this over here. Not proportionate, but well, okay. I will write it once again over here like this. So, nagara, I just told you two verbs, two actions at the same time. Watashi wa kaki nagara oshiete imas or oshie nagara kaite imas. So, any which way you want to use it. Then yappari as I thought as I knew it. Yappari so datta. I had thought of something 
some uh, answer I had thought of and then I was told about it and ah, yappari sodatta, that is exactly what I had thought or it is as I had thought. Then yappari, there is a spelling mistake over here, yappari kore no hoga tadashi desu. Whatever you may say, this is what is correct. So, this is how yappari is used. It can come at the beginning, it can come in the middle of a sentence, that is not an issue at all. Just try to use yappari. And then there are some kanjis over here. So, you have uchi, you have done uchi 1, then you have deru, then this is kusa, simple kanji nichi plus over here kusa. This part in kusa is similar to happa, this is happa kanji, so you can see over here. 1, 2, 3, this is similar, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this, happa. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. The stroke order becomes a little different when you are trying to tell and count and write. So, go check on the net as well. Then you have omou, which is like this, omou, and we have ni sanjikan ato, which I just told you, ni san ji kan ato, ato is like this and this, ni sanjikan ato. There is another one, tori, we did tori earlier also and like this, 1, 2, 3 and 4, it is a 10 stroke character. So, tori. So, there are so many things, there is lots to cover over here, lot more things to tell you, but we have this time limitation. So, I have to do it very, very quickly. And so, with this, I would like to finish the class today. There is lots more to tell. And uh, we will continue in our uh, next class. In the next class, we will see where all uh, the Ahirunoko he goes, whom all he meets, and then finally, when he turns into a swan and flies away. So, in the meantime, do your kanjis, do the grammar that I have done with you, and we will meet next time. Arigato gozaimashita, mata aimashou.